Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are coming to you today live from our garage, which has turned into uh, Seed Planting Central. And um, we tried to record some things earlier. We've already got a lot of stuff set up in our grow light uh, situation that you'll see in a minute. We've been having some technical difficulties with our phone. So today we are going old school and not using microphones um, as we speak. So hopefully you guys can hear us. Uh, pretty well. We'll do our best to make sure that we speak up and enunciate properly as we're moving along. But today we're going to once again go through and do a little bit of seeding. Also show you some of the things that we've already secured uh, in terms of bulbs and other seeds and then uh, give you a little bit of tour of our newly created grow light situation. Our main goal today is to get some pepper started in the uh, seed trays. We have these Quadrato Diasti Razo, pronounced that properly, right, didn't I? <laughs> uh, red peppers that we're going to be planting. We also have um, some Ivarski peppers. These are Serbian peppers, and these are used to make Ivar, which Dragon will explain a little bit later. But we got these just in the mail today from Thomas Natural Roots Etsy. on Etsy, along with a handwritten note. You don't get many of those. Happy gardening indeed. So thank you so much, Thomas Natural Roots. We're looking forward to getting these uh, Ivarski peppers in the ground because we love those. Um, in addition to that, today we're also going to be planting some jalapeno peppers, doing some mixed color bell peppers. These are uh, sweet banana peppers. And then the awesome folks at Thomas Natural Roots also sent us this packet, which is a Marconi golden pepper that we've never tried before. So we're looking forward to getting that planted as well with the uh, rest of our peppers that we have going on here. All right, let's get planting. So we have uh, our own seed starting mix here. It is 50% uh, peat moss, 50% uh, potting mix, and some uh, perlite, about a 5% perlite. Uh, we're gonna moisten this up. I already kind of started moistening. You still need it to be a little bit more wet. Gonna just add some water. So we want soil to be staying in a clump when you squeeze it to stay in a clump, not to fall apart like this, and not to show any water coming out of it once you squeeze it. So just a little bit more water for this. It is so good to be on a farm and have our own water well, natural well. No chemicals in the water. So none of it, so your seeds are not shocked with any additional chemicals from water while they're growing. Uh, let's see, that's better. Uh, we're going to do two trays of peppers and these trays. Where did we get these trays from? Uh, these trays we got from Lidl. Uh, they're nice trays, they are some watering trays. They have a uh, drip tray in the bottom that you can fill up with the water. Nice uh, humidity dome. They have six times four, 24 cells. We do two of those. Pack them in nicely. Do a little dab to so make sure that there's enough soil medium in there. And then just finish it up. Like so. These corner ones usually always check on those. They usually one they get missed. Alright. That's one. One more time. You might think that this will be you might say this would be the maybe a small cell for the peppers. But due to limitations of inside the growing space, we're gonna start the peppers here and then probably in a month or so get them potted up to a 
larger pot. Hopefully we'll have somewhat better weather than as well. All right, I'm gonna go rinse my hands and then we're gonna continue getting the peppers in. So we're just gonna make little indentations where we can drop the seeds and then cover them just gently mostly perlites or perlite all right let's start with jalapenos so today is March 1st our last frost date it's somewhere around uh, April 20th peppers most cases you want to start somewhere between uh, eight to ten weeks uh, before your last frost date uh, so for us here like i said that's about six six weeks from today um, however we're not going to plant them out till probably mid-may may 20th so that gives us full 10 10 to 11 weeks for them which will be really plenty plenty of time to get them really nice and established so we'll do one row of each kind. So we are gonna do, we're not big on spices, so this is a mild jalapeno. Just enough for that homemade uh, salsa. And salsa and pico de gallo, yes, indeed. We're gonna do two seeds per, so just dab them in. It might be easier to do it this way. Let's do it that way. Two, three, That way you double your chance of having some germination, hopefully. Peppers are warm, warm uh, climate plants, so they do need temperatures at least about 70s in order to germinate. So that's why we have more have on inside. Next up. Hungarian yellow pepper, or this is at least similar to uh, banana pepper. We had these uh, last couple of years, and they're really good producers. Yeah, these were one of our, these and our Swiss chard were the gift that kept on giving. So, which was nice because we love eating tomato, onion, and uh, pepper salads with our breakfast, and these always got a chance to make a guest appearance for those. Okay, two and two more. You know what we forgot kind of yet? What? Some label makers. Oh yeah, I just I literally just thought about that. You we always say that just to take credit. We have the same brain. Alright, next up we'll do some colorful we planted these last year uh, or two years ago. I think it was two years ago. I don't know. They ago. didn't do that well. They didn't do that well. Um, uh, I'll give them another try. These coated seeds, they were just not that great. But I would like to see. So there should be some orange, yellow, purple, green and red, obviously. Uh, green and red are pretty much that's a pretty much same color. Uh, pepper. Red pepper will first be green, and as it ripens, it will become red. So, And last but not least is the one that Kevin pronounced so well. I did. Which one were you struggling with? I wasn't that one. Oh, bell pepper. Regular. <laughs> regular bell pepper. I could say regular bell pepper. 
What's the name of this again? Let me see. Uh, this is Marconi Golden Pepper. It's like another version of maybe a Marconi. Mar Marconi Golden Pepper. Looks like a version of banana pepper or something like that, but we'll give it a try. This was a gift from Etsy shop that we bought the uh, Serbian peppers, Macedonian peppers are there. So we'll, for this purpose, we'll call them Serbian pepper. Same as any other pepper seeds. Easy to work with, which is nice. It's been nice to have large seeds like this. Last week I was doing some foxglove and that was almost like working with dust. Pretty dust. Need one more here. There are two in there. Oh. See? I need Control to, issues, you see? I need right to there. blink. <laughs> my, my contacts must be dry. <laughs> Let's get the solo cups so we can make labels. I'm gonna gently discover these. They should take probably about 10 days to two weeks to germinate. Sooner if you have it, have it on a heat mat. Something that can keep them warm. Perlite. This will keep your seeds, top of your tray, moist. Which will, same way, help the seeds keep the moisture and get them to germinate faster. Before we move to the next tray, let's get the label. This solo cup is your best friend when it comes to marking what you've planted. Cheap, um, easy way to keep tabs of what it is that you have in your seed trays. So if you have these, no need to really spend you know, money on getting the fancy things that you uh, put down. Those are nice to have. You know, If you can do it, go right ahead. But we love a good deal and nothing is better than <laughs> these red solo cups. So all you really need to do to create your labels is come right in, give them a little little break, lay that all the way down, come over, give yourself enough room to write. Uh, I'm typically a big writer, so I like to have enough space for my larger words. Go ahead and break that down to get all of the tabs we need. So we have four different types planted right now. So I'll break off four different tabs as my markers. Once you get those, you have your scissors. One easy way to make it a little bit simpler to get it uh, down into the soil is to cut a little bit of an angle like that. So we'll just cut out these four. You've now created your little plastic tab or stake. Uh, if you don't have solo cups lying around from your Super Bowl party or whatever, another thing that works great for this are yogurt cups. Um, anything really that's plastic and pliable will work well for that. Just take a marker of some kind. We'll get that one in a minute. So we started with the jalapeno peppers. So. Jalapenos we have, then we have banana peppers, anybody else sings Gwen Stefani's song when they're writing the word bananas, like I do, <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and grab this one off the floor, we planted our mixed peppers, mixed bell peppers, so mixed bell, And lastly, we have the Marconi Golden Pepper. Tabs are all created. So careful now, It's you don't want to touch them because they're still wet, just like with uh, using a marker for anything. 
So we'll just grab these, bring them right on over. We started with jalapenos here. So if you have room, slide it down there. If not, you can secure it on the back side, then that's fine too. Banana peppers here. I need to go down and adjust depending on how large your dome is. And then for our final two tabs, we have the mixed bell in this row and the Marconi Golden here. There you have it now. You've cataloged what you have planted in this tray. And then as it comes up, you'll be able to then adjust how you want to mark it for wherever you plant it. All right, time to do the second tray. This is one of my favorite peppers. It's called Ivarski. So uh, I'm originally from Croatia. I was born back when it was Yugoslavia. So that region is very well known for a sweet pepper relish called Ivar. So each uh, country now, Macedonia, Bosnia, Serbia, they all claim they all came up with it. Nobody knows who came up with it first. Anyhow, it's a great, great sweet relish that's great for charcuterie boards or to eat on its own. Um, it's made with this uh, pepper. You roast it on open fire and then just uh, muddle it, I believe, into a relish. But I also love just uh, roasted uh, peppers on its own, just with some garlic and some oil, a little bit of salt. Best way to eat them. Uh, so there should be 25 seeds in this, I believe. So we're still gonna do the same thing, just in case. We'll do two seeds for. Just love how thick and meaty these peppers are. They have a really nice scent to them as well while you cut them. Good. That was it. And last row, we're gonna do just a regular bell pepper. It might be low on seeds on this one, let's see. Oh yeah, very low. So we're not gonna be able to finish this tray because we only have two, four, six, eight seeds. Just gonna get that started. And we'll get some more seeds tomorrow then. All right, I'm gonna gently cover them. Tags. Oops. Sorry, everybody. All right, and next thing, I'm gonna gently just water this tray right here. Don't want to go too heavy on the water, so it kind of doesn't mold the seeds. You already pre moistened the soil, so it should be good. I'm doing this one as well. And take them to their spot. This is our little area. We'll have to do some shifting around so we can place that. We already have some uh, cabbage and red kale going. Had a really, really poor germination so I had to reseed it again as you can see here in the back some of them are now popping back up here we have on the 
this one that I just went and thinned it out today. These are coleus. We got seed packet. Let me just grab that seed packet. It's this seed packet. Just want to see if we get any that we really like. Since coleus is our favorite plant. We have those so coleus, I guess we can move. Coleus we can move down since it already germinated. Nicely. Um, we got this shelf. This is four, uh, four feet or 48 inch long shelf, metro shelf, uh, four tiers. We got this at the Wee Home Store for 50 bucks. No, this came from Goodwill. Oh, well, that's a Wee Home Store. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Goodwill for 50 bucks, and we found these lights on. Amazon for I believe it was six lights for hundred bucks, right? Uh, something like that. Nine, Ninety-six or hundred bucks. Uh, they do. They are LED glow lights, full spectrum. Uh, they do radiate a little bit of heat here. Uh, that's why I want the peppers to stay on top of them, so it gives them almost like heat mat. Uh, you also added your uh, foil. To the back. Oh yeah, I added a foil just for some light reflection because I've noticed the end and uh, end rows kind of start to lean lean in and since I added a foil for some light reflection it's been pretty good. Eventually maybe it would be nice to add a third third row light so I have three and I think that would be perfect but well that can that can wait. All right, let's see. This here. We also have this is uh, amaranthus. Right? Amaranth. Amaranth. Uh, amaranth. We grow in this for our uh, flower garden. Uh, already thinned out, germinated really nicely. Uh, pretty much 100% germination. And then right here we have half amaranth and half celosia. Celosia. Celosia is one. Uh, there's one right here in the second one. Here we the go. Second and third yep. have one. Uh, it. it just started germinating. So we'll see how it comes. Does not look promising so far, but we'll see. We'll give it a chance. All right, on the bottom here we have my, one of my new favorites is uh, foxglove. These are the seeds that we collected actually from the foxglove that we planted last year. And you can see it's germinating quite well. It is just amazing. I think I posted a story yesterday on Instagram how tiny seeds are. I mentioned earlier that it's almost like working with dust. And you can see when, once it germinates, this little tiny green speckle, it's the foxglove. And it grows into a beautiful plant that is probably three to four feet tall. So we have three different varieties. Uh, this is a creamy, creamy peach. Uh, this is, what is this? I believe this is actually a mix, right? Yeah, this is actually a mix of several different colors. And this one here is uh, a strawberry color. Uh, this variety of foxglove blooms the first year. That's another thing what I love about it. Uh, most of the foxglove are biennial, which means that they bloom uh, every uh, second year. But this variety luckily blooms the first year. So now we're going to put these up. This way. Let's see. Remember tomorrow to buy a couple more. Not a seed pocket of bell peppers to finish this up. On the bottom, we mentioned the coleus. We also have some uh, some that just started popping up. Those are onions, just mixed in a couple of different varieties. They're a little bit slow at popping up. I need to water a little more. It's a little dry. Just gonna spray them up. 
I can water a little bit heavier. That's my watering can. Let me grab my watering can. Water them up. Those are good. And these right here, they're just starting to root and trim. And these are different varieties of pansies. Some seeds we collected from our own pansies. Some seeds that we had laying around. Those should be really quick. They grow fairly quickly. They're usually up in, in a month, I believe. They're more within probably 50, 55 days. What else, Kevin? You want to show them the back there? What else? We have? Uh, well, this is just one of our Diffenbachia plants. We had several of them previously. Uh, some of them we've chopped down. Some of them we've kept. This is one that survived and survived for now, but its days might be numbered. We'll see. Uh, over here in the corner, we also have a Croatan plant. Just one of those uh, multicolored tropical plants. And underneath that, we have um, just some petunias that were probably in the soil because this was some recycled soil and we had lots of petunias planted last season so they've been popping up in this particular container here and then lastly at the top we have several different type of orchids that we have uh, some that were gifted to us some that we bought um, over the years anytime we find a beautiful orchid that's somewhere on sale we get these but they are doing amazingly well here as you can see that everything is right near a window so we can pop this window open as well when we have some really nice days so it gets a great mix of all the things that it likes from the tropics see all of those beautiful buds also too that are still pushing out on this yellow one we're back in the garage now where the magic all happens for the seeds to get started um, get ready to do a little bit of cleanup and then start planning the next projects uh, for tomorrow and the day after that. Dragon? Thanks again for following along and stay tuned for update videos. All right, you guys stay safe out there. We'll see you again soon.